Yo guys, what's up, Bob here, okay? So, now we're on part two of making an Android ROM. So, for this part, we need, we need to download APK Manager. So, let's Google APK Manager. APK Manager 4.9 from XDA Developers. Um, click on Download. For Windows, because we're on Windows. I'm just gonna do direct link. I mean direct download. No, um, what's going on? Okay. Save. Save it to your desktop. And in this case to make it easier. We're gonna mod a ROM that's that that's already a ROM. So if you have if you don't have a ROM already, go to Android Forms. I'm guessing, depending on your phone make and where your Android developers are at. In my case, I'm gonna download ROM for my phone. LG Optimus M. All right. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to make your own ROM from your phone itself. <laughs> so I'm going to download a ROM. I mean this um, form is really really good for Android phones and help and everything about them. I usually use Sense ROM because I like the way it looks. Alright, the file is downloaded. Click open. Extract the files to a desktop folder. So create a new folder on desktop. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it APK Manager for short. APK Manager. Then you want to drag the files to APK Manager. Let it finish. Download a ROM that I that you guys like. In my case, I'm downloading. In Joe 90 cent ROM, which I use to mod all my ROMs that I make. Save to the desktop. Okay. And let's look at APK Manager. Make sure you have all these folders in here and everything. While that's downloading, we'll talk about APK Manager and what it is exactly. So click on script dot batch and it might say batch it might not now APK manager can do pretty much everything for your ROM it can sign the APKs decompile compile recompile it can install APKs it can pull APKs it can pull your whole phone for you your whole system file to your desktop if you want it to which is a must for testing out new ROMs you want to just pull it to the phone you want to pull it back from the phone when I say pull, I mean getting it from the phone. When I say push, I mean pushing the ROM to the phone. So you are copying the file, the, the APK to the ROM, I mean to the phone. So, yeah. Like, if you type in option 8, you can push the file to it. Um, APK manager at first kind of confusing but once you get it all set up and configured it's easy so first I mean now I'm gonna show you what each APK folder in here does now if you want to decompile an APK extract it sign it you put it into this folder here place APK here for modern place it there and then let's say you decompile it it will appear under projects if you want to sign the APK, you place under sign in. The batch it, place under batch. And other, which is the files APK manager you uses to extract it, sign it, and all that good stuff. So the ROM's downloaded. I'm going to make it to a new folder because that's a zip file. Let's leave it as a new folder if I like name it, but. Okay, drag to the desktop, copy the files over, 
and in this case we're gonna decompile framework so take a while I'll just pull it from here to save time system framework and yeah all these apps are system apps which let's say you edit code in it to make it say something else you have to resign it but if you were just gonna edit an image color change the way it lo image looks you don't have to resign it you can just all you have to do is just re compress it and yeah and it's good to go but let's say I wanna decompile framework res so drag to the desktop I mean not to the desktop to place APK, APK here for modern click strip run okay and as you see it says current app framework dot res so since we want to decompile it we're going to type in option 9 and click enter it will decompile the APK it's done now it's in the projects APK res and if you don't know what this APK is it's pretty much all the all the artwork on the phone for example like all the little check marks and everything that's what this APK contains so let's say we want to edit this little square no not print um, edit and yeah I don't have fi uh, what's it called Adobe Fireworks but if you want to edit pink files and everything Adobe Fireworks is awesome. Photoshop's awesome. Things like that are a must-have. Let's say I want to edit this little file. Yeah, I know it's ugly, but it's for demonstration purposes. So, save it. Okay, it's saved. And now we want to de to recompile it. So you want to type in 11. That will recompile the APK. And you can take it a little bit, but. And sometimes it will ask you, yeah, it will say error. Okay, is this a system map? I think in this case, this is a system map, so yes. Yes. It will extract it. Click enter. It will compress it. Okay, and now we go back to place APK here. We see it is unsigned, so now we want to sign it. And so click 12. I mean, I click what type in 12 onto the APK manager command prompt. Click enter. And now it's signed. So now we can delete the other one. This is the newer one. And we can rename it. To framework and a little cool feature that you probably gonna have to enable in Windows 7 is you want to go to and to to a Explorer window when you get to Explorer window you want to click on folder and search options click on view then you want to uncheck hide extensions for known file types because if you keep that on and there's a zip file you can't rename the zip to to make it a APK. If you leave that on it would show like this dot zip dot APK. And then if you try to compress it and everything in APK manager, it it actually will not find it because this file is a dot zip dot APK. And that's not even a file name. So that's why you don't do that. But yeah, and the next tutorial we will talk about editing code and getting into theming and all that good stuff that makes a ROM a ROM. So subscribe, comment, post a video response of your of you trying to decompile it or something. Peace.